Hello, this is Sabrina Ellery with a video tutorial for ClearSnap, and today I want to show you how to do some printmaking with our Colorbox Magic Stamp. What this is, is a moldable foam stamp that you warm up and press onto a textured surface to create your own stamps. So I created this nature-inspired print for my son's room with the Magic Stamp and some of our color box crafters inks. I'm going to show you how to create um, a smaller version of that and how to use the magic stamp product today. Um, I have this smaller sheet of canvas here and I'm working on a watercolor paper which is a thicker paper. That's definitely not necessary. Any uh, cardstock will work. And I'm just taping off here with some removable masking tape so I can have a border around my image. Um, I think that makes it look a little bit more professional. And I'm going to remove the magic stamp from the packaging. Basically what you're going to do to warm this up is take a heat gun and run it over the surface of the foam until it is nice and hot. You're going to want to get your uh, texture ready because immediately after the foam is ready you're going to want to press that onto your surface. I'm using these cotton balls to get a soft puffy texture for some clouds um, and a look of a sky and that foam is going to hold the impression until I heat it up again. So we don't have to worry about inking that up and stamping it right away. So I'm just masking off a small area here. And I'm inking up with some of our crafters inks. Any type of juicier pigment ink I think will work best for stamping with the magic stamp. And since I'm making a print that I want to hold up, I just think the crafters inks is a great solution. There's some new colors out right now from Ann Butler Designs and they're very nature inspired so I thought that worked out perfectly for this nature inspired print. So I've got some more textures here. I have grass, bark, and rocks to finish out the rest of my design. So I'm inking up the blue shades. We have ocean breeze and wave and then I'm inking up the rocks with stone which is appropriate of course just masking off each of the four corners. On the larger design, I created a row of each. You're welcome to stamp them in any way that you choose. So we're going to stamp the grass and the bark with our desert, stand, desert sand and bark inks. And then for the green, we have the new shades evergreen and jungle. Thank you so much for joining me today. For more ideas and inspiration, please visit clearsnap.com.